All right, guys, so we just got the car back home. We're going to do a quick walk around and then look what the damage. Make a list and start ordering the parts we need. So check it out guys, it wasn't bad at all. I was able to remove the front bumper and then left the side of the fender on. I'm gonna try to see if I can fix it while it's connected. I tried the other side of the fender out of the car to see which one is easier to work on it, either on the car or outside. Beside that, I can see that the crash body is damaged. We're gonna need to replace it and all the component that's connected to it. Pretty much the other side has the same damage. So I'm gonna dig further, take all those parts, see what other damages are hidden behind them. Let's go. Found out that there is other damages right here. Broken parts too. You can see radiator holder needs to be replaced, but right here everything looks good on the frame. Frame is straight, no problem. Brackets perfect. Same thing on the other side. You just part remove the frame still perfect. Check it out guys, I was able to remove the radiator support and everything. The damage only on this exterior part. Nothing is bad on by the engine, nothing is bad on the other side. Everything looks good, so let's start putting the new parts. So check it out guys, huge improvement from the first day to right now. We replaced the support for the radiator, radiator, we replaced the crash bar, the absorber, everything looks brand new like back to OEM. After that I'm gonna move from the headlight to the hood. Uh, that's the last and final step, Beside that, go, after that I'm gonna go to the interior. Alright, so let's go. Okay, so after we finish from the outside now we go into the interior i just got the airbag i got the seat belt repaired we're gonna install it and finish for the interior make sure everything is good let's go
all right guys so now we're gonna do the final step in the interior we're gonna replace the airbag let's go all right guys so i thought the airbag would be easier just to replace the parts with another one for some reason i think after the crash everything is melted as you can see right here so even i try to put to pull only this little piece the black one out and then so i can remove the harnesses for some reason everything it's you can see right here it's melted you cannot even take it off so um only way we we i have to do now i'm gonna look online hopefully they sell only those parts the orange and the yellow one and then i'll be able to just connect them it's very easy you just connect them on the two sides and then plug them to the new airbag so until then i'm gonna order the part right now as soon as i receive it i will walk you through the whole process and then hopefully that's the last thing we need see you soon all right guys so we just finished installing the airbag seat belt is ready so officially the interior of this car is ready so let's go here i decided to install a brand new headlight the right and the left side as i find a good price to buy them online and i don't want to mess up with the old ones So check it out guys everything is ready we replaced the front bumper the hood interior airbag seat belt everything is done the correct way so now i'm just gonna get the car ready for the paint i'm gonna see you on the next video stay tuned for an exciting video let's go